Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft has rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview boards, which are basically mirror images once again of each other. The dev channel gets 26,200.5722 and the beta channel gets billed 26,120.5722. Now just a quick overview as to what's new in the dev and the beta channels for this week. Now, first of all, Microsoft says it's rolling out the new AI agent in settings. And this is for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs now. Where basically the gist of this is that Microsoft wants finding and changing settings on your PC to be a lot easier using this AI feature. And with this update to settings, you'll be able to describe what you need help with and the agent will recommend the right steps you can take to address the issue according to Microsoft. So obviously that's for Copilot Plus PCs, now available on AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs. And then Microsoft also says that some Windows insiders in the dev and beta channels will see a refreshed SCOOBE screen, which stands for Second Chance Out of Box Experience for reviewing recommended settings on your PC. Microsoft says this is designed and redesigned to be more intuitive and streamlined, allowing you to choose the recommended settings you want for your PC without having to navigate through multiple setup screens. And then Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out a new tutorial for click to do So when you launch click to do for the first time, you'll be offered a quick interactive tutorial that shows you how to accomplish tasks faster. So obviously that's also for Copilot Plus PCs. And then search on the taskbar has received a new feature. So Microsoft says in the left pane of the search results in the Windows search box on the taskbar, it is introducing a new grid view to help you more quickly and accurately identify the desired image within your search. So that's interesting. And then Microsoft mentions that after disabling to fix some issues, it's now beginning to roll out the change the way that the task manager calculates CPU utilization for the processes, performance, and users pages. Again, now this was pulled and Microsoft is reintroducing this in the dev and beta channels. And the task manager will now, Microsoft says, use the standard metrics to display CPU workload consistently across all pages and aligning with industry standards and third-party tools. So that's made a comeback after being pulled. And here's an interesting one for the notification center. And apparently this next change I would consider to be an improvement and it is a highly requested feature. With Microsoft saying to address your feedback, we are extending the functionality of notification center to secondary monitors, which I think is definitely a nice move in the right direction and makes me kind of think, why did it take so long? With Microsoft saying this means you'll be able to see your calendar on any of your monitors as well as the option to show a bigger clock with seconds above the calendar. So there's going to we're going to get the clock just like Windows 10 in the calendar fly out eventually in Windows 11. So that's what Microsoft is talking about. And you'll be able to open a notification center on any monitor by clicking the date and time in the system tray of your taskbar. So that's indefinitely a move in the right direction. And then over and above that, guys, as always, we get some fixes and known issues because this is early preview. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.